Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Escoblades, back with another of the Q&A videos. This is the second lot of them. I'm hoping to go through the second round of questions because there were so many, I couldn't fit them all into one video and I wanted to answer as many as, um, you know, as I promised. So, um, jump straight into uh, another question. I've got Supernatural03 who goes, I want to know how you met Rainy, Shemi and Angie. It's really funny to watch videos where you play together or even against each other. Um, second question is, are you going to make more videos with them? I know these questions won't be as popular, but it's quite interesting in my opinion. Very great question, actually. Um, I met them through Assassin's Creed, you know, um, obviously Rainy and Shenmue. And it's quite, <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. I met Rainy first and got to know her first. And at the time, you know, Shenmue was making videos. And I just thought, oh my God, it'd be so awesome to talk to him. You know, kind of almost a little bit fanboy -y. And one day he got into a match with him and Squiddish, you know, got talking and he added me as a friend. And that's pretty much where it's been since. So, you know, love you guys. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to try and get something with all of us, myself, Rainy, Shenmue, um, Angie, Luma, L3. I want to get, you know, a bit of a brawl going and maybe record that and get like a multiple point of view kind of thing. I think that would be cool. Yeah, so, you know, you, you guys let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. Um, yeah. So thanks for that question. Move on to uh, another question. Blades of Destiny 974 goes, how do you like ACR, the multiplayer and the single player? Um, I like it so far. Uh, as I said in my single player review, which I wrote on Xbox Game Zone, I thought bomb crafting was a bit redundant uh, just because I didn't have much... Um, I didn't find any instances, in, or very few instances in the game rather, where I, was, I absolutely needed to use bombs, you know? Uh, so... I think that's something that could have been tweaked, maybe made a bit more relevant. But overall, I really like the game. Um, I'm looking at the bigger picture here and I can see where the storyline is going. A lot of people seem to want instant gratification and, oh, tell me more about Desmond. And it's like, no, this has been planned by Corey May and all the other writers over a long stretch of time. So I can see where it's heading. Um, so it doesn't all have to be about Desmond moving forward leaps and bounds right now. So I like I like what Revelations has done, and I like that it's ended Ezio's trilogy on a good note. Um, I won't spoil it for anybody who still hasn't played it, but you know, all of that. So yeah, thanks for the question. Uh, Bobacraft1234, great name, asks, uh, what are your top three favorite personas on ACR? And do you think of the Quartz, and what do you think of the Quartz and being back in multiplayer? I think it's cool. Eagle Eyed Amongst you would have noticed that it's not actually the exact same courtesan. It's her sister. Um, I'm not even going to try and remember her name right now because it's not in front of me. But they're slightly different, the first names. They're sisters. <clears throat> um, with regards to the top three favorite personas, it's got to be the Crusader, the Renegade, and the Guardian. I think they, they all look badass, especially when, um, you know, you've, uh, especially when you've uh, customized them a little bit. So... Thanks for the question. Uh, Dahel Gemma, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, uh, asks, who's your favorite commentator on AC videos except yourself? Oh, man. Um, obviously, the people that I watch on a regular basis, Shenmue, Rainy, Squiddish, Luma, and Angie, uh, and L3. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't pick one because they're all entertaining in a completely different way. Uh, if I was to recommend any people to watch, those are the people you should go and check out. If you haven't subscribed to them, please do. Uh, they put out some great videos, really informative, really funny. And yeah, they're doing great things in the Assassin's Creed community and you should definitely check them out. Uh, so thanks for the question. <laughs> Somebody here, SC94KVids, asks, what's my favorite color? Green. Duh, I'm a big Green Lantern fan, so green is my favorite color. <laughs> Thanks for that question. Uh, moving on to something else. Mond Machine. Love you. <laughs> um, asks, what's, the fa what's your favorite map in Revelations? I'm going with Castel Gandolfo. Sorry, one of the oldies. Because a lot of the new maps are just huge. I know Imar said on a previous podcast that they're actually the same size. They're just made to look bigger but they seem bigger they feel bigger and however many hours i've put into you um revelations already they feel bigger i don't know i i like castel gandolfo it's a perfect blend of sort of like groundwork and you know sort of layered um gameplay but not like roofy so yeah kojax232 asks how did you come up with your channel name gbiese as well as esco blades well i've explained the esco blades in a different video gbiese is in actual fact the first three letters of my surname and the first three letters of my nigerian name so 
I need you to try and work that one out. Um, Durandal46579 asks, are you planning on doing defensive location guide for the five ACR maps? Um, you know, that's not something I've actually um, considered. Maybe, uh, like I said, I'm fairly, fairly busy at the moment uh, putting up uh, you know, multiplayer ability guides, amongst other things, at different places. So hopefully if I can get around to that, I'll do it. Um, your second question is, do I plan on buying the game on PC? No. Um, yeah, there's a long list of problems as, uh, on the PC and I just, uh, you know, my blood pressure just can't take it again on PC. I love you PC players and I love playing on the PC, but not for Revelations, I just can't do it. So, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, hi guy, 5121, must be a fan of Luma because he asks in very, you know, strict sense, why didn't you join Luma's party? I guess this is what you were watching the Q&A video. Um, mainly because I was recording and I didn't want to interrupt the gameplay with joining this party. I joined this party after I finished recording that game, so don't worry. Uh, would you like? What would you like to see in the next Assassin's Creed game, single player and multiplayer? Well, in the next Assassin's Creed game, single player, I'm looking forward to playing as a new ancestor and a new location for Desmond. Hint, hint. Um, so yeah, with regards to the multiplayer, I'd just like to see it expand a little bit. I'm hoping that the fan base will come considerably bigger and there will be some new you, you know, new additions that will be popular. I'd definitely like to see dedicated servers. I know I harp on about them all the time, but it would be a really great addition to the game. Um, so yeah, for, for a lot of reasons. So uh, that's, that's, what I'd, uh, that's what I'd like to see added. Um, Daniel Cal Calbito asks, what do you consider an average score for you in, say, Deathmatch or Wanted? Um, I don't know. Seeing as now a lot of the... A lot of the focus has shifted to getting things like 10Ks and stuff. I'd say like about 5, 6K. I mean, on Brotherhood, about 5, 6K was sort of the average I'd get in sort of like a good lobby. And then I'd be, you know, pushing for 7, 8Ks in lobbies where they weren't necessarily as good players. So, uh, you know, around the 5, 6K range for both for both modes, actually, i consider sort of like an average score. So, yeah, hope that helps. Uh, moving on. Um... Hey Mikey asks, do you find yourself enjoying Revelations more than Brotherhood? I personally don't find it as thrilling, especially in Wanted. Deathmatch is cool, but nothing beats ACB Wanted in my opinion. Um, I have to agree with you on the Wanted thing, uh, but I like Deathmatch. I like a lot of the modes. I like Deathmatch, I like Corruption, I like Steal the Artifact. Um, so Revelations has a different type of thrill, I think, because it's got a different range and mix of game modes. Um, I think because, you know, I, I, it, it'd be more, it'd be a question you can answer a lot more, you know, honestly, when you've put in, or if you put in as much time into Revelations as you did with Brotherhood, and who knows what's coming in the pipeline with DLC and stuff, there might be some new modes, uh, Ubisoft might relent and change the reverse detection meter for some of the modes, you never know, and it'll revert back to what it was. In brotherhood so we just gotta wait and see um, and like I said a lot of people are already adapting to the new maps and the reverse detection meter in combination so you know pe people will be scoring highly and I guess it just takes a little bit of time for that to filter through to the to the rest of the community so we'll see how it goes um, thank you uh, <laughs> Aussie wanna rock um, big you know um, who's a big supporter of mine uh, thanks for the question. Did the police arrest you? <laughs> that was because of the sirens in the Q&A video. Nope. Um, I'm a good boy. I didn't get arrested. So there. Seriously though. Uh, where do you want the next SE game to be? Anywhere other than Egypt. I'm tired of seeing Egypt being mentioned in the press all of the time. It's not going to Egypt. If it's going to Egypt, I'm going to eat a large hat. <laughs> Please don't hold me to that. But no, I... Um, I'd like to see it in Victoria and England or the French Revolution. Those are the two places I'd really like to, to see it go. So, yeah. Thanks for the question. BigBiss1337 asks, Would you ever start a YouTube-generated tournament, one that amasses a large audience? If I had enough influence to do such a thing, I would. I think it would be a great, I think it would be a great thing. Kind of like, you know, with the Call of Duty um, crowd have and stuff. Um, it might be something I'll look into with some other commentators. But right now, I'm not. I'm 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 not influential enough to be in a position to start something like that where people would come and play. Um, so hopefully with time, if my influence grows or it's something that a lot of people want to band together to do, 
definitely it'd be definitely something we'd look into so yeah thanks for the question okay uh fat people 93 asks i love rugby what position did you play um <laughs> i was a speedy back i played on the wing uh, outside center or fullback i spent most of my time uh, most of my rugby playing career rather on the wing um i played a few games at fullback and then i sort of shifted to outside center um, a few people have asked what sort of version and code of rugby I prefer. Sevens. Uh, I just loved running around the field. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I was a big sevens player. So, yeah, uh, coming up to the end of this video as well, I think I've answered most of the questions. A big thank you to everyone who submitted a question. Um, you know, really appreciate it. I hope this is giving you a bit of an insight into me and what I do, who I am. And uh, I look forward to bringing you guys more videos uh, in various places uh, be sure to check out machinima respawn because i have a few things going up there take care stay safe as always and bye for me for now thank you